Welcome back, everybody. This is it. Get yourself strapped in for the final match of the evening. It's the best of seven final of the Infinitude series. One of these two teams will be taking home the entire 100 euro prize pool. And it's no big deal or anything. They've only both had to come through seven game matches <laughs> to get to this stage. We had a seven game series on stream just now between 1 2 3 eventual victors and Freezer Crowd. And 1 2 3 had to rally from 3 1 down to get that one after winning in five games against Mercury Esports, who Slipstream regulars will recognize as a Vortex team. They've really not had it easy so far. But I have a new co-caster here with me for this one. How you doing, Blue Wolf? It's great to be here. Uh, jumping in right at the last minute to steal all the glory, not doing the hard hard yards like you did, casting the quarters and the semis. I'm just here for the main event. And what a main event it will be. I'm really excited to see this one. You know, everything is on the line here. It, it feels like an absolute waste if you're the team that comes second. You've played for so long, so many games, as you said, all just to miss out on the money at the end. So yeah, definitely between these two teams. It's brutal that one team literally takes it all from this point, having whittled this field down of 55-ish teams. Now we've got the final two, and there is still one more team who has to endure the ultimate disappointment and one more team who will win the whole thing. Both of these teams have been very deserving of the spot in the final, but there can only be one winner. Yeah, it sure makes for an entertaining game, though. I'm looking forward to see whether Adventa, they take it, or will it be 1-2-3 doing sort of the ultimate comeback? Uh, I was watching the semi-final stream, and they, they seemed completely out of it at 3-1 in the series. They mounted a comeback in that series. Maybe they could come back and, you know, win the final game as well. That would really turn around their night. In an hour, they go from basically being out of the tournament to being the champions. Well, the semi-final that we didn't see between Atvinter and NSG Esports was won by Atvinter in seven games. We saw a quarter-final from that side of the bracket. That was a 3-0 sweep for eventually beaten semi-finalists NSG Esports against Damage Inc. Gold. And that's a little bit of a barometer for how good these teams are because Damage Inc. Gold are a Champions Conference team in the ECC, which is the second tier of competition. They were swept fairly comprehensively in that one by NSG Esports. So you could suggest perhaps NSG Esports were sort of on par with a Vortex team and then maybe they were beaten. So you're looking at Atvinta being sort of middle of Vortex quality Whereas then you've got 1-2-3 on the other side who have come through two series of maximum length, 3-2 and 4-3, one of them being against the Vortex team. Maybe that's given them the slight edge in this best of seven final. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to wait and see. The wait is going to be ending. We are going to be getting into the game. Oh, one player's not joined. He is in in the end. So here we go. Adaventa, they are taking on 1-2-3. Everything on the line here. And Aventa are going to be in the blue. One, two, three in the orange team. As getting into the wedge shot it goes just wide from Numbi. That would have been a perfect way to start the final. As one, two, three. They're looking to settle into this game in a different way than they settled into the semi final. But that's not how you want to start at all. Adavanta have taken the early lead here. Yeah, good play from Adavanta there. And Tango ultimately was left with an open net. Definitely not how you want to be defending early on in this best of seven for one, two, three. The nerves may very well still be there after the fashion in which they came from behind to win their semi-final, but they've got to settle down and do it all again. Yeah, there was an early warning sign. Numbi's shot looks like it could have easily have gone in. Went a little bit wide, but in the end they score anyway, and they're going to try and find another one here. Not the start you wanted if you're one, two, three. That should be saved just by bail exit. Follow up won't be. Sozio with a goal, and it's 2-0 to Adaventa. They've come out of the blocks absolutely racing here. Yeah, classic bit of commentator's curse. As soon as I've bigged 1, 2, 3 up as the favourites, they're coming into this game one and they're not really playing at the same level we saw them at in the semi-finals. The rotation at the back is just not there for them and they're 2-0 down early on in game one. At Vinter fully in control at the moment. They'll be loving the way this final has started, but plenty of time for it to turn on its head. Yeah, it's very easy to back 1-2-3 uh, considering they are the known quantity. You casted their semi-final, as we've said, and they have, they've got started here. Mino's finally put the ball into the Adavinta net. So, you know, not a completely unbalanced start. A halfway line 
shot into an empty net. So both teams are exchanging goals early on. Adavento, though, you impressed with them so far? Well, it was certainly a good first 30 seconds or so for them. They look strong. They've got that rotation going and they were clearly ready to kick this one off. But 1-2-3 working their way back into it now. They pulled that goal back and they're looking to tie it up. MK will win it back on the halfway line and Minnow was looking to follow it up into the corner. Maybe this is their chance to tie it. Yeah, maybe this game will be a microcosm of what the last series, the semi-final was with 1-2-3 uh, coming from behind. At the moment, they're leading the attack. Unable to really nail a shot in yet. Tango's got an aerial ball on the halfway line. He's trying to dribble in. Ends up taking it a bit too far to the left and it is eventually intercepted. The pinball in the middle of the area here. So teams, you know, it's kind of hard to get settled into a final, especially when there's no rhythm being established. You know, three goals in the first minute. I think things might calm down a little bit now as teams are knocking it about a bit. It tends to be more towards the Adavanta net though. Yeah, the last 45 seconds or so haven't really produced any significant shots on goal. Alexit will try and change that here. They were such an important figure for 1 2 3 in the previous series. Between them and MX, they linked up. They might be doing so again here as Minnow was there in the middle, but didn't get the shot on target. And at Vinter will get it the other way. Numbi with the ball off the corner ends up just landing onto MX's head. He's going to take that away. We almost saw a carbon copy of their first goal if Alexit had got the touch there to take it away from the keeper. He doesn't. And then the end, to end the attack looked to have been snuffed out, although Alexit somehow gets a double touch, hits it up in the air. Numbi trying to save the ball, still hot somehow in the mix. The shot is eventually saved by Sozia. But it seems like a sort of inevitability there for a second that it was going to be a goal for 1 2 3. But Adavanta, they've sorted it out. They've cleared the ball, they've stabilized their defense. Do you think that they'll be able to pick this lock or do you think Adavanta they can hold on here? Well, there's still plenty of time left to go in this game. One, two, three. They may need to change up their attacking strategy, but they've got the shots going. And well, if you have the shots, you've got yourselves a better chance of scoring goals, putting the pressure on eventually at Vinter May crack. It could be right here. It's MX into the bottom right corner to tie the game up for one, two, three. Yeah, very even between the two teams so far. I think the scoreline is sort of fair now. I know Adavanta, they did take the early lead, but ever, ever since then, it, feel, it feels like it's been all one, two, three. So both teams, maybe a little bit of nerves, a little bit tentative. We all we have said it's winner takes it all. So both teams maybe still need to get fully settled into this series, but this game one is anyone's game. And next it as far as the halfway line. Over the top, in fact, this is all the way in. One, two, three, come from two goals down. They now have the lead with 144 to go in game one. Great response from them and a superb carry over the top by Alexit. Sozia was up there to try and make the interception, but it was just too high for them. Yeah, just about creeping into the net. In this game, well, we saw a sort of goal rush in the first 30 seconds. We're having a, a mini goal rush now as Adavanta, they're going to try and find their way back into this one. Will they be able to do so though? That was a chance for a shot there. It's saved by the keeper. Recentered. Should be easy enough for a legs. It did knock away though. 1 minute 30 on the clock. Still anyone's game, I feel. Even though the advantage is with 1 2 3 at the moment. Well, you have to take into to... consideration that it's been a while since Atvinta had that glorious taste of the second goal in the game. Both of their goals happened fairly early on, and since then it's been mostly 1 2 3 with the attacking pressure. Yeah, that looks like to be trying to change it a little bit now. They seem to have had more of the ball, but not really in the right areas, only about halfway in to the one, two, three, half. Nothing really testing the keeper. As Sozia will try and take the ball away in the air. He's been intercepted. And this could be a follow-up chance for MX. He does just about miss the ball. So Alexit, he seems to be the star player so far from one, two, three. Would you say that was true in the semi-final or has he really stepped his, up, stepped his game up just for the big one? I think both Alexit and MX had their moments in the semi-final. Both had the individual games in which they got MVP. And while well, they're working together here to push a shot over the top, it's great play between the two of them. MX put the shot on target, but Sozio was there to make the save. Minai dropped it down for Alexit, and that one pinwheels off into the corner as we've got 20 seconds to go. 1-2-3 looking very good here, but they're on the back foot. Yeah, Tango trying to find a chance for a shot there, but the keeper is up and gets it away. It seems like this is an attack from 1-2-3, but it's sort of a half-hearted attack. They just want to keep the ball away from their own net. Tango's hit that forward. The aerial comes through for 1-2-3. That looks like it's going to hit the ground, but Numbi manages to catch it. 
he might be able to keep his team alive here. The ball is spiraling towards their net. They should be able to catch that one. It's Tango and Sozia sort of double committing, trying to do something, but it is eventually on the ground for 1-2-3. You take the first game of this grand final, 3-2 to score. Yeah, good performance from them to rally from behind. They were good value for that victory in the end, despite the horrific start that they endured in the first 40 seconds or so. They turned it around, they got the job done, and they look in good stead now. They are three games away from winning this final and securing that 100 euro prize pool. That's been to, well, they need to get back to what they did in the first 30 or 40 seconds of the game. It was a very slim period in which they were dominating, but they made good on it with those couple of quick goals. Yeah, you do wonder how much of that comes down to nerves and sort of, you know, it takes you a while to get into the game. Or how much of it was just Adavinta, they were just so rapid, or what, you know, is it Adavinta being strong or is it 1-2-3 with a bit of early defensive fragility? Both teams will be trying to, I think, replicate different parts of that first game. Adavinta obviously trying to replicate the first 40 seconds, whereas 1-2-3, the, the rest of the game, the, the 4 minutes and 20 will be what they'll be looking to repeat as we get into our second game. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if 1-2-3 continue their momentum into this game and score the opening goal because then the pressure will really be ramping up on Atvinta. I don't think they will have felt it so much in the leading for most of the game. And then when they went behind, they, they went behind for a seriously long amount of time. And I don't think they were given much of an opportunity to try and settle into the rhythm of a basic game. Yeah, it's a different feeling for 1-2-3. They were used to being behind in the series in the semi-final. This time, they're going to have to try and front run, as we're not going to be seeing any early goals as of yet. Some shots, but nothing particularly testing. Mainly 1-2-3, leading them, though. Eventually, the ball looks to be towards the halfway line. It looks like things are going to calm down a little bit. Oh, never mind. There's a missed shot there. Alexis hit the crossbar. It points twice before. Eventually, he actually hits it away towards his own net, trying to control possession and not let a cheap shot be hit off by the Advent Du Bois. Things seem to seem to be a lot more even in the early stages here. Nummy clues this one over to the right wing. Sozzi will try and get onto it, but MX wins it straight back. Great save by Tanko there as it headed for the bottom right corner dangerously. Alexit helped it over to Minnow where MX was waiting for it on the halfway line. MX will be able to centre it for Alexit, but that one is blocked down by Advinter, who at least haven't conceded yet, but, well, as, as I say that, Tango put a good shot on target, pinching it in from the sidewall. No goals for either team so far, probably plays better into the hands of 1-2-3, who have that series lead and will still feel in control of the scenario. Yeah, definitely, but it does feel like Adavanta, they're pushing up the pitch a little bit more. At the very early stages, it was they were just being penned in the box by 1-2-3. They're starting to explore the higher areas of the pitch. As I'm saying that though, one, two, three have seemed to mount their second wave of attack. A couple shots coming in, nothing particularly strong as of yet. Maybe a chance for a exit here. No, nope, it's deflected up in the air and Sozia is gonna shoot towards an empty net, but the shot is too slow and MX is able to get back in time. Mino's gonna return the favor by pounding the ball down the opposite end. Numbi's able to take that one away though. So some long distance shots, but we're still waiting for our first goal here about half the game gone and saying that it's just come in Minnow flies through the air and taps the ball into what was a bottom, an empty top left corner a triple commit from Adavinta costs them their opening goal here well 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 that is very dangerous a goal to concede for Adavinta and they only have one shot on target in this game questions are going to be asked of them now and they have to find answers for them or they risk going 2-0 down in this final so here it is in the far corner now where Alexa will help it on and maybe build on this lead for 1-2-3. Gets the flip reset off of that ball, they don't need it. They kick, kick start in a passing play. It finishes with Alexit. MX was onto this one, they decided to leave it for Minnow instead. Alexit follows it up, but Tango wins it back off the corner. And it looks like Adventa will clear their lines now as Nami gets it away. Yeah, Adventa seems to definitely be second best at the moment, but we all saw what happened in the semi-final with 1-2-3 and how they just came alive in the series, though they are alive in this final as well as MX has doubled their advantage with the passing play. Yeah, good Pretty play important. there from Minnow and Alexit. I believe may have got the bump on Sozio there, but either way, it was an open net for MX to capitalise on, making it 2-0 with 2.13 to go in Game 2 of the series. 
at Vinter. Well, they've been outscored five to nothing since their opening game one burst, and that is not the kind of stat you'd like to see for them. Yeah, it feels like we've seen very, very little from Adventa outside the very, very early stages of that first game. Maybe, I don't know, they seem a little bit shell-shocked here. Maybe it's the fatigue of playing so many games back to back to back is getting to them, but they really need to get their heads in the game here. They're, they look like they're probably going to lose this game, but we we'll definitely need to see them online for the next one. They still do have a minute and a half to remedy the situation here, though. Yeah, it's not done and dusted for them yet, even if they do lose the second game of the series. 2-0 is still a manageable deficit in the best of seven, but game three becomes all important. If you go 3-0 down, you're looking at a reverse sweep, and that is a mammoth of a task. We saw how difficult 3-1 was for 1-2 team in the previous one. Four games in a row is a very difficult ask. Yeah, well, you said 2-0 is a very manageable scoreline. I would say it's not really when you've only had two shots on target. That's the 11th one from 1-2-3. They have been totally dominant in this game so far, although they might get caught out here. Numbi with a chance to shoot. That's slightly over. Sozia re-centers, though there's no one there except for Alexa. who will take it away. That might go in unless Numbi does come across, but Alexa's followed it up. And I think that might be game two guaranteed for 1-2-3 here. Well, it's been a lengthy period of time approaching and exceeding nine minutes of game time now since Advinter scored last. And that is definitely going to be preying on their minds at this stage of the series. It's such a crucial point. And 1-2-3 are gladly taking the opportunities that are being afforded of them. And they lead 3-0 now with 45 seconds to go. It should be a deficit that is impossible for Advinter to get round. Yeah, and you've definitely got to be asking questions of the Adventure defence. That one, Alex had, had the ball basically passed to him by Numbi. And then the second goal as well was a triple commit from Adventure that cost them. So, you know, defensively, they have been a little bit frail. That's something they've got to work on. One, two, three have scored three goals in consecutive games here. So definitely a lot to improve upon for them. Stolze now with 15 seconds to go. Adventure would love themselves a consolation goal, but it doesn't look very likely in the position they're in at the moment. Instead, it will be MX to drop it down to Alexit, who sends it back into the attacking corner, and MX will put it central. Firmino, shots on goal, and Nummy makes the save. That would have been an excellent three-player passing play, but it doesn't come off. If I were out of Vinta here, I'd almost want the ball just to hit the ground so that we could move on to the third game and put this one behind them where they've been absolutely dominated by 1-2-3. A comfortable 3-0 win. It could easily have been more than that. They ended up having, you know, oh, Mads is hard. 14 shots, I almost said 12. That would have been wrong. 14 shots in total for 1-2-3, just three for out of Vinta, and none of them were particularly threatening shots. Well, we will show head over to DFH Stadium where the task is becoming increasingly difficult for Advinter Esports. They are now 2-0 down in the series. They're going to have to win four out of five from this point onwards and that is a very difficult aim in a final where both of these teams are deserving of their place but Advinter are yet to take it really. Do you think Advinter they maybe just need to take a moment and you know this is where the coach if we're in a classic American football the coach would whip out the timeout, they'd all go around, sit on the halfway line and try and get their heads firmly back into this game because they've really been out of it ever since. I know we keep banging on about the first 40 seconds of the first game where it looked like Adavanta were the team to beat, but all of a sudden, one, two, three, they came back with a vengeance and Adavanta haven't shown anything since. Do you think one, two, three will be able to take this third game or do you see Adavanta finding their way back? Well, 1-2-3 are in such a dominant position in terms of the series as a whole now with that 2-0 advantage. They'll have all the momentum knowing how Atzvinta started that game one and then just tossed it away. If 1-2-3 score the first goal here, they're going to be absolutely in control of game three and it'll be very difficult for Atzvinta. Atzvinta already on the back foot here. Yeah, Atzvinta, they're going to have to find some inspiration from somewhere to try and end this goal right. They have, haven't found the, the ball in to the 1-2-3 half in the early stages. It's 1-2-3 who seem to be front running. That could have been a lucky goal if the pinch had come off slightly better. But at the end, it will just be vague center balls towards each other's box, but a pinball at the moment. Both teams waiting to find their first real opportunity. This could be it. MX could look to hit this one down. Instead, it's Numbi with some good defending looking to clear this one away. As things, it's a tense start. 
Well, it's a good start for Aventura, I would say, that they haven't conceded yet. That will give them an opportunity to push forwards now. Minai Kalusa swan over to the right wing, and Alexa is ready to take hold of it. Sends it back across the pitch as they look to spread the play, but Nami makes the interception. Tango now. Banks this one off the ceiling. Gets an extra touch as well to flip past Minnow. But Alexa is on hand to make the clear. And even though Advinter had possession, they didn't get it goalwards. Yeah, if Advinter had found the net there, I think that would have been the inspiration that could have fueled them to getting back into this series. It would have been a beautiful individual moment from Tango. But as it stands, 1-2-3, even though they're not really in control of this game, you do sense it that they are the ones who seem more likely to start turning the screw and start peppering the net with shots. But at the moment, out of Inter, they have possession of the ball, although that looks like it will change as one, two, three. Looks like they're going to mount an attack. I feel like we've had we've had zero shots in the game so far, and I think that's just been pinball everywhere. Real lack of lack of definite shots from both teams, I would say. Yeah, it makes you wonder if the single goal will be enough to win this game through with the way it's going at the moment as we're approaching the halfway point. 0-0, nil -nil. nice for Advinter to not be losing and it feels like they're playing a little bit more of their game again now. The possession has certainly gone both ways and it's one that either team can win at this point but of course the advantage that 1-2-3 one, are sitting on means that when you do get to these close games like this, 1-2-3 don't have to win as many of them to take home the prize. Yeah, out of it, uh, it's almost like no news is good news for them. They're able to sort of play their own game. They're not ha being forced to just defend constantly like they were in the last game. But the problem is, is that now they've gone from being stuck in their own box to sort of it being a 50-50. Now they need to try and push it that bit more and put themselves on the front foot and start attacking. Numbies made a save. That's our first shot of the game from MX. Not a particularly testing one, but it's nice to have one on the board. As Do you think this will be a 1-0 game or do you think if one team can find the net, it could start a goal spree. I definitely think if one, two, three find the net, it will start a goal spree for them because that will just be any kind of momentum that Advinter had will just burst entirely. Uh, if Advinter score first, it's going to be a case of a 1-0, I think, for them. And one, two, three are coming so close and finally they do have the goal as Minnow deposits it into the net on the left-hand side. They were turned aside by the post at the first attempt, but they got another stab at it and they made good on it that time. And now, yeah. one, two, three have the lead. It was a bit of a one, two, three shot. Shot one hits the left post, shot two hits the right post, shot three into the top corner and puts them firmly in control of this third game because it's been incredibly low scoring. We're still waiting for our first shot from Adavinta, even though I would say it's seen 50 50. It's we're four shots now to the one, two, three boys, but Adavinta, they're going to have to try and just throw everything at the wall here, try and make something stick. And that could open themselves up at the back. They could maybe concede another here, but it is not going to be a shot yet for one, two, three. The ball is hovering on the halfway line as a shot from Numbi at that could have found its way in. MX with the rotate gets it away. So it's once again, we're going back to just pinball on the halfway line, which is what we sort of had until about 30 seconds for the one, two, three goal when they started to take control. Adavinta, they've got to find something here. Do you think they'll be able to do it? Oh, they may have a chance here as Tango tried to latch onto that loose ball, but instead MX cleared it all the way down. One minute to go here. Atzvinter still down by a goal. They could well be 3 0 down in this series by the end of this minute. It's not looking good for them at the moment as they're stuck in their defensive third again. Sozzi will get it up to the halfway line, and Nummy now has to make the clearance. Alexit went up for it and missed it, but as per usual, MX was on hand to make the follow up work. And I know what we've said, how, how even this sort of game three sort of has been. Was, oh, that's almost a goal for one, two, three. The follow up from Alexit, it is a goal. I think that might be all she wrote for this third game as one, two, three have taken a two goal advantage here. 28 seconds on the clock. You know, it is feasible for a comeback, but considering, as I was about to say, out of Vinta, not a single shot in this third game, it does not seem likely at all. Well, 1 2 3 very much in control of this series now, and well, that comes as quite a surprise to me that the final has been this lopsided so far, with Atvinter's goal scoring drought still going on. Freezer Crowd will be kicking themselves now that they didn't get past 1 2 3 in that game 7 of the semi final, and that they weren't the team in this position because really the difference in quality between those two sides was very, very slim. 
Yeah, you've got to wonder though how much of this comes down to one, two, three performance in the semi-final. You know, mentally they'll be feeling so good, so pumped, so strong because of the way they won that semi-final. And maybe that good feeling has just translated to them being absolutely dominant in this final so far. Well, we've got game four coming up and now it is do or die time for at Vinter. They've got to win four in a row if they are to win this final. And what a way that would be to end this stream for this evening if they were to do that. One, two, three, we'll be hoping the buck stops here in Utopia Coliseum dusk. And they take the series in a very impressive 4-0 sweep. Yeah, well, we saw a three-goal reverse sweep in the previous series. You know, at Aventa, they just have to go one better here. I don't see it happening, though, considering this game was just they had zero shots at all. That's quite disappointing. And uh, we've not seen them on stream before, so we've, I don't know Adventa personally, so I don't have that faith in the players to be able to find something here. But maybe do you think there is any chance? On a scale of 1 to 100, how likely do you think the comeback is? Well, they're a team with clear quality. They defended well at points in these first few games of the series, but they've generated so little going forwards. So I really can't give them more more than sort of a 5% chance of getting themselves back into this series because they've got it all to do. They need to suddenly explode for some offense. Tango is going to do their best to try and generate that here, but MX controls it into the corner where Mino gets it clear. And this is just more of 1-2-3 looking supremely confident in possession as they get over the halfway line. Yeah, we saw in the very first game Adaventa had the early goals. Second game was 1-2-3's turn to take the early advantage. This one seems to be more like game three and it's a little bit back and forth. It is somewhat of a shot for Adavanta. It's probably, you know, by Adavanta's standards of having very, very few shots, you could say it's one of their best chances since the game one where they took their only two goals of the series. It's over 11 minutes of Rocket League since they last scored. Sorry, 16 minutes of Rocket League, in fact. That's pretty crazy and pretty damning if, of their chances in this grand final. Yeah, so a very, very long time to be going without a goal, but as long as they keep it nil-nil, they'll still feel like they have a chance. I mean, if they only need to get one to win this game, that would be a very nice break for them. But it is Alexit sending it the opposite way instead. Sossi will shoot here. Mino has a difficult save to make, and Sossi will put it back in for Nummy. MX makes the save on this one as Atvinter finally generates some attacking momentum, but they don't have a goal to show for it. And 1 2 3 may well reap the rewards of their strong position in this series. Yeah, in those 20 seconds, they had more shots than they had in the entire third game, which really is an indictment of how badly that one went. But it's encouraging for their chances here. They've got a shot that's too far to the left. Follow up, keeper is bumped, but there's another keeper behind him. It's Mino who's hit the ball away. Alexit looking to follow it up. There's players back though, and it's being cleared eventually. Mino, the man who made the save. It's thought he would have had a dribble chance there, but it has been intercepted. So it feels like a sort of carbon copy of game three, and it's sort of nil-nil. Bit back and forth, one, two, three. They'll be looking to just, you know, slowly grow into the game and eventually maybe take a one or two goal lead. Yeah, one, two, three. They don't need to go hell for leather at this point in the series. With the three nil lead that they're nursing, it's... Uh, they've only got to win one of the next four. It certainly gives them the opportunity to settle back they're allowing at Vincent to come at them and well they don't have a goal one two three could easily strike on the counter here is this the moment Alexit makes a save over to the left and well they still look very comfortable in the defensive third yeah this is the best we've seen from Adavanta so far outside of those 20 seconds at the very very start they are, they are stringing attacks together they're doing shots there was that one that was incredibly close Mino was just on the back line able to stop it the two keepers went up Alexit manages to recover though to stop the follow-up shot third one comes in MX he's, it's his turn to knock the ball away so just save after save they're farming them on the 1-2-3 side and that's got to be frustrating if you're an Adavinta fan and here come 1-2-3 on the counter-attack now. It's Alexit trying to drag it over the top and they get their first shot on target. Will the second lead to anything? Mino turns that one towards the net. We'll get another stab at it here. Two defenders step into the play and it's MX. And it's a good save by Sozia as 1-2-3 very nearly put themselves in front. Yeah, just a little scary reminder from 1-2-3 of how powerful they are on the attack. Two shots narrowly missing with both of them. Or sorry, it should narrowly save both of them. 
as Adaventa, they're going to be a little bit more fearful now when they go forward, but they have to remember that they really, really, really need a goal here. There's 1 minute 18 on the clock, and the score is still 0-0. Oh, Soyce's dribble pass 1 is going to be intercepted, though. Is the game seems to be swinging again. Earlier on, Adaventa seemed fir firmly in control, but 1-2-3, we mentioned they might grow into the game, and it looks like that's what's happening now. And the closer we get to the end of the game, the more pressure that Adventure are going to feel themselves under. The closer they come to, if they can see the goal, they're not going to have very much time to get back into it. And this may even go to overtime here in going for Alexit, though, has beaten one defender. Sozia has to clear it over to the far side. Tango follows it up, and Adventure are definitely low on boost at the moment. Alexit will put it back in, and Tango wins it back, but MX is on hand. We'll put this one into the mixer where Mino was there to win it back. Alexit finds this one from the right wing into the middle and into the net. 29 seconds to go and 1-2-3 are in front. Wow, that might just be the goal that takes them into first place. Alexit, he hits it over Tango into the center of the net from the corner. 29 seconds left on the clock. You know, we say oftentimes that would seem, you know, it is feasible they would come back, but when you haven't scored a goal in over 19 minutes of Rocket League, it doesn't seem very likely at all. Halfway oh line, go one, two, three. Can they put a cap on this performance? No, it's turned aside by Nami as we're into the last 10 seconds now. At Vinter need that goal. They haven't found it in over 17-ish minutes. Tango on net, saved by Alexit. Sozzi will try and put it back into the middle for Nummy. Now it's Tango instead, hitting the bar. It comes away and their fruits come to nothing. 1-2-3, win the Infinitude Series with a 4-0 sweep in the grand final. A great performance from them that saw three consecutive clean sheets and the prize pool is all theirs. Yeah, absolutely crazy. A completely dominant performance from 1-2-3. They definitely deserve that game plan of just sitting back you know don't go as you said don't go hell for leather in the final game just had faith in themselves push forward got that final goal a great goal from a exit in fact and they take it that's i would say a little bit disappointing from adaventa you know you work so hard you go through so many games and i think they've let themselves down a little bit in the final with their own performance yeah they put themselves through a tournament with 55 ish teams they get all the way here to the final and then, well, they lay a goose egg when they get here. It was a good performance from them in going forward. They went some way to re renewing their status as a deserving finalist, I think, even though they didn't score. They generated 13 shots on target. The defending from 1-2-3 was simply fantastic. And it let them set a platform for going the other way and scoring the winner in those final 30 seconds. Well, 13 shots is infinitely more than what they had in game three when they had zero. So they did get better in the final game when they had everything on the line. But in the end, it is going to be one, two, three, who seems so far out of it in the semi-final. They reverse sweep, swept that game and then completely front round this one. They will be the Infinitude Series 2 champions taking home all of the 100 euro prize pool. Well, that's all she wrote for the Infinitude series. We've streamed an exciting quarterfinal, semi-final and final for you tonight. Highlight, of course, the Game 7 victory for 1-2-3 three, over Freezer Crowd in the semi-finals that saw them get this far. But a big thanks to everybody who participated tonight in the Infinitude series to make this tournament what it is. It was a pleasure for us here at the production team to bring it to you and a shout out to Cheesecake for stepping in alongside me in the second game and what a game it was but from us here at slipstream thank you for watching and good night